What you guys got another video here for you on how to remove a virus alert from Microsoft pop-up scam. So basically these will pop up when you're browsing the internet. Now a lot of people won't fall for this particular type of scam but you've got to realize there's a lot of people uh, that use computers that will fall for this type of scam and this is why they still exist in 2019. There is tons of beginner people out there buying computers and using computers on the internet and when they stumble on something like this they panic and of course they ring the number and they're going to get scammed and this is a very common thing. So let me just show you the one I stumbled on the other day. You can see it's giving you a message here uh, which is just speaking to you in the background and of course it's saying Windows protected your PC call this number and uh, once you call that number you'll get a tech support scammer on the other end asking to remote into your computer once they start to remote into your computer they'll start doing some dirty tactics on you which will try to convince you that your PC is infected they will open up event viewer and they will go into the administrative events and they will start showing you some errors inside here which will try and convince you that your system has been infected and it's got uh, massive errors on it and uh, what you can do is they will fix it all for you and this is the part of the scam so once they're on your system they will start showing you loads of errors like this and of course there's always going to be these on the system uh, you'll never get rid of them it's just part of Windows you know but people that are not familiar with it will fall for this type of scam. Another thing they like to do is open up the command prompt and of course they will take you straight to the C root directory and they will just type the word tree inside here and it will start doing a bunch of scans on the system. They will make out that this is doing some sort of virus scan on your system and it will then come up saying you're infected sometimes at the bottom if you're using an older version of Windows. Now of course you're not infected it's just a scam and these types of confidence tricksters will try to con you out of your money another thing they like to do is go into ms config and show you stopped services now this is another little tactic they like to use to try and convince you that your system has been breached and you've got malware on the computer and of course it's now stopped all your services and they can fix all this for you for a small fee and this is what they're building up for so they'll try to build this up uh, in the background they'll start talking to you getting your confidence to to trust them and of course that will come the one-time offer PC protection plan this is where they will then start to say for one computer you'll get two years technical support 130 pound for your printer scanner antivirus software PC backup for one computer five years would be 250 printer scanner and so on and then you'll get the lifetime uh, protection as well to kill these off you just right click on your taskbar and end task for the browser and it will kill off that process now once that's gone you should be okay but just to be sure you might want to run some scans with some software and you can use Malwarebytes which is free to download and run a scan on update it and run a full scan with that piece of software another one you can do if you find malware on the system you might want to run something like ESET online scanner just to make sure that you're not infected even further and you can run something like this okay if you find your PC is plagued with loads of malware then you may want to take it to a PC repair shop to get it cleaned or you can do a fresh install of Windows but if you've cleaned all the malware off you can go in and reset your browser you can go into apps and features go down to Microsoft Edge if you're using this one advanced options and then drill down where it says reset and just reset your browser this will delete a lot of the uh, options inside here and make sure that there is no extensions added or any of that sort of stuff added to your browser now you can do this also in Chrome Firefox and any other type of browser that you've got you can reset it back to factory defaults and that is probably your best bet to make sure that you don't have any malware in there once you open this up you will get the message saying something went wrong but we've resolved it they've removed all your browsing history extension data uh, pin tabs and also site permissions they've removed all of those for you because they've reset your browser back to factory defaults 
and this is probably your best bet now of course as long as you haven't got any other malware on the system you should be okay but if you do find that you've got other adware or bloatware or any type of malware on the system you may want to seek professional advice and get that removed from your computer and of course if your pc is really bad then you may want to reinstall windows now these types of scams have been around for a very long time and there's probably one or two people on YouTube that actually make very good content at tracking these people down and getting these guys prosecuted. All of the rest of the channels you see on YouTube are just out for entertainment purposes and to make revenue from those videos and they are not helping the situation whatsoever. But anyway, hope you get some sort of uh, information from this video that helps you or helps someone that you know. Uh, show them this video and hopefully they won't fall foul to this particular type of scam. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.